Hello, in this video, I will explain how you can automate the deployment of your React project using Amazon services. But before we begin, I would like to invite you to support me in my course of creating free programming lessons by subscribing to my Patreon page. Link is available in the description box below. Before we begin, make sure that you have the following prerequisites installed or created Node.js, GitLab account, and AWS account. Let's start by creating our React project. To create a React project, type the following command in your terminal npx create react app react dash app. Open the newly created project in Visual Studio Code and add the following Docker file. This will build our project into a Docker image. Push the project to GitLab. Log in or create a new account in GitLab. Create a new repository named React App. Follow the procedure on how to link the remote repository to our local project. Since we already have an existing folder, we will follow this guide. Let's run a terminal inside Visual Studio Code and run git init. And let's, let's copy the list of commands. Finally, we will push our local repository into GitLab. Let's go back to our GitLab repository and verify that our project was indeed committed, as we see here. We will continue by creating an Amazon ECR. Log in to your AWS account, click Services, and search for ECR. In the drop-down, select Elastic Container Registry. In the Amazon ECR page, click Get Started and enter React Apt. Click Create Repository. Copy the repository URI. We will use this when we create an ECS task definition. Now we will create an Amazon ECS. If you haven't done so, log into your AWS account, click Services, and search for ECS. In the drop down, select Elastic Container Service. On the left side, click Amazon ECS Task Definitions. Click Create New Task Definition. Select EC2 and click next. Set the following values. In the task definition name, enter deploy container, no space. Task memory, 128. Task CPU, 1B CPU, and click the add container. In the container name, enter react app container. The image URI is the one that we have created earlier for ECR. So let's copy this one and enter. Under fault mappings, enter 80 to host port and 80 to container port. Click add and click create. On the left side, click Amazon ECS clusters. Click create cluster. Select EC2 Linux plus networking. Click next step and set the following fields. Cluster name react cluster. And this step is important. Under the EC2 instance type, 
make sure to select T2 dot micro so that you will not be charged number of instances leave it to one and then we go to the networking section under the BPC if you have one you can use it otherwise let it create a new BPC select the subnets and finally make sure to select a security group that expose port 80 because that is where we will access the react project running in our container click create click view cluster and under the services click create set the following fields launch type ec2 task definition deploy container service name react service number of task 1 minimum healthy percent to 0 maximum to 100 click next step and then next as we will not be using a load balancer for this exercise click next and click create service click view service and then we will continue by creating our AWS access key again if you haven't done so log in to your AWS account click the services menu and search for IAM on the left side click users click add user and enter a username react app select programmatic access click next permissions and select or click attach existing policies directly for this exercise we can select the administrator access click next click next and create the user download the CSV file this is the credential that we will be using later when we set up our GitLab project the access key and the secret access and let's do that open your react project hosted in GitLab click the settings CIDI expand the variables section and enter the following values add variable AWS region this one is the region where our ECR and ECS are created in this case I have created them in Ohio which is US East 2 you can choose to mask the variable so that it's not visible in the log let's add our AWS access key ID which is from the CSV that we have downloaded click add variable but before that make sure to mask it and the sec secret access key just this one make sure that you remove the next line character mask the variable and add variable with this our project can now connect to our AWS account so let's start making a change to our project and do a commit now that we have finish adding the AWS keys into our github project it's now time to create the configuration that will handle the commit so once GitLab receive a commit it will do a build of the container so let's go to repository files and let's add a new file select a template GitLab CI.YML and paste the following configuration which I will add in the description box of this video so what does this configuration does here we have our cluster name the service name and the ECR URI and then we have the Canico builder this is using the Canico image it builds and push the container to Amazon ECS and then finally we're using the Python image to do a deploy. Now let's hit save. Oh, actually, we need the file name that GitLab dash ei dot yml. Commit changes. Add GitLab config. 
commit the changes, fire up your Visual Studio Code and git pull so that we can get the file that we have just committed. Here is the GitLab CI. Next, open the source app.js and let's add a new header h2 welcome to aws and let's commit our changes git commit yum mm, update app and let's push our changes at this stage when we go back to the react project hosted in gitlab and open cidi pipelines it should trigger a new build maybe let's cancel this one and let's wait for the update app to finish after all these stages are done go back to your amazon account go to amazon ecs cluster open the cluster click the ecs instances tab and click the container instance this is our running container and this is the public dns let's try accessing this here we can see welcome to aws header which we have added in our js file so there we have just configured an auto deployment pipeline of our react project hosted in gitlab using amazon services and that concludes this video i hope you learned something from it and that you can use it in your workflow don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I often upload programming related videos which might be helpful to you. You can also join our Discord server to participate in the discussion. See you there!